Hi everyone, it's me, Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. Welcome one, welcome all. So this is our Sunday podcast, and what happens on the Sunday podcast is it's a recap of what I've been up to the past week, anything that is new and upcoming, or something that you need to be on the lookout for that's coming up in the channel, that type of stuff, that's kind of what we go over on Sundays. Um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is where you will find tutorials. They might be stitch tutorials. They might be patterns of my own, um, crochet alongs, tat alongs, knit alongs, those type of things happen on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I spin yarn, and we chit chat live. Um, Let's see, anything else like reviews, unboxings, things like that, get done on days that I don't already have pre-scheduled events. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are tutorial-based type videos. Thursday is the live spin and chat. So you have Friday and Saturday, those videos may be random and there may not be anything at all on those days. Uh, depends on what I've got going on. If I have any type of uh, happy mail, anything like that, that comes on a podcast day as well. So let's go ahead and get into it and uh, kind of go over everything. So as some of you know, we have knitting, tatting, crocheting, Tunisian crochet, uh, the Addy, spinning yarn, dyeing yarn, all kinds of different things happen here. So there's a plethora of stuff that you can find in the playlist. And if you can't find it, um, and it's or it's too overwhelming, just ask and we will get you in the right direction. All right, let's go ahead and start with this big pile of roll eggs that I have here. Um, I went ahead and made a bunch of roll eggs to start spinning and creating a yarn. And that was done out of, let me get it, oh. I had some of this yarn. Now it is a core spun yarn. And what I mean by that, if I can get to a part, is it's a thick and thin, and around it, there is this very thin piece of thread. Very thin piece of thread. So that's what holds it together. It is a two ply. The roving is more loosely spun in certain areas. The core of it is not as tight um, being spun with that thread. Other areas, it is more tightly spun with that thread around the core roving. So what I did was I took that thread off and took just the roving and I placed it on my blending board in various places. Then I also used a gray that I have and blended them together to get these Rolex. Now I was joking around when I posted them in uh, the Facebook group, I said, peekaboo pretty because there is the colors peeking through all of the gray. And now I have fiber everywhere. <laughs> so that is what I was spinning Thursday night. And this is what it's starting to look like. It's not the prettiest spin, but <laughs> nevertheless, there's one bobbin. I'm going to finish filling it and I'm going to work on another bobbin. More than likely, I have enough to do a three ply yarn here, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, so another thing that I did this week um, was, this past week, was the previous podcast, I was wearing a snood that I had designed. And I told you guys that it, guys and gals, that it at one point was a doily. And then after that, it starts cupping around and becoming the, the rest of the snood. 
Um, and I asked whether or not you thought or you would like for me to break that tutorial for the snood into two parts. One part doily and then continue with part two if you wanted to continue to make the snood. And the overall vote was for a two part on the snood. So the first part has been done. It's been completed, the doily part. Now, when you block this out, it will have a slight ruffle to the edge. Um, that's intentional. Uh, you will go ahead and block it out so it kind of like wavy. Uh, but the rest of it, that, that's the doily part. Uh, this weekend, we will start working on recording the rest of the snood, and you can look forward to part two uh, next week, and we'll go ahead and finish that snood up. There will also be a couple of just stitch tutorials, might be knitting, might be regular crochet, might be Tunisian crochet, uh, just depending on what I feel like that day. <laughs> there might even be some needle tatting. <laughs> we don't know yet. We'll see when I when I get to recording uh, some tutorials for next week. Um, I got to get caught up on my tutorials. I have test patterns going crazy right now. <laughs> I set one down and I pick up five more that have to be tested, but that's okay. I always like a challenge and I always like pressure on my shoulders. So here we go. Um, any channels that I mentioned during this video will be down in the description box. Any um, patterns or information I have available to me at the time of mentioning it, I will notate down below. Um, any future information that I receive on said patterns that I have tested that are not out yet um, and I actually can show, uh, you will get that information from me when it becomes available, I will add it in as well. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to go Bumblebee Mountain Outreach. I did make some more hats this week for the hat donation drive challenge that she's got going on. She is local to me. Um, so I'm donating all kinds of hats to that and more than likely if the military Christmas ball party does not interfere uh, with the time frame of our local parade I more than likely will be assisting in handing out these hats during our parade and you know wherever she needs me uh, it just as long as it doesn't have a conflict with the military side of things that I'm required to be at, <laughs> I'll be there. So um, her information will be linked down below. She is also a content creator here on YouTube, if you do not know. Um, she is accepting hats to a certain time. And again, I will post that information down below. You can go check her out if you haven't already. So let's go through the hats. Here is... Hat number one, hat number two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven. So I have seven more hats to add to another pile I have going. Um, I've already donated a little over a hundred hats, uh, scarves, different type of stuff like that. And I've started another pile. I want to say there's like 11 or 12, including these, that next time I meet up with her, I'll give those to her as well. So those are added to it. And uh, next we have on the list is Fiber Spider. Yay, we love our Craig. Uh, Craig had me and a few other people test a uh, pattern for him and help him name it. And it came out with the Baker's Dozen shawl. And it is so cute. I love it. These like donut looking uh, filet crochet. I absolutely love this. Uh, so I will be continuing to work on this. Um, it is such a cute pattern. I unfortunately had to run through the pattern a couple of, you know, repeats 
and set it aside and get on to other things. So this, now that I can show you, um, I can actually work on this here and there as well as other stuff. Um, but that was a test knit or a test crochet for Fiber Spider. I will add his information and the links to that shawl below. And I can't imagine you not knowing who Fiber Spider is, but if you don't, Craig is an amazing designer and he's a fantastic person and teacher. Um, by all means, go check him out if you haven't already. He's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Next up, I have finished uh, the pair of socks that I had shown you that I had started recently. This is also a test knit. Um, the socks are Sarah Oliver. Uh, she recently had a pattern in, uh, put in the UK knit magazine and she has several designs coming up and asked, you know, for test knitters. I know her from previously a few years ago. Um, and she's a pretty awesome person. Uh, so when she asked if she, you know, if I would be willing to knit, uh, test knit for her, I said, absolutely. And here we are. I finished my socks. So now I can take pictures of these, ship them over to her and be done with that. And in the meantime, I have more test knits that are test patterns that have come up that I will be working on as well as making my own content and running our farm. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, they're getting weighted down. <laughs> I work best under pressure. Absolutely. All right, everyone. It is a very quick, short, podcast as to what I've been up to this week. Uh, those of you that have sent me pictures of your work or included them, included them into the Facebook Friday post, thank you very much. I will be adding those into a slideshow when I'm done on this podcast. Um, thank you very much. I want to congratulate um, Gorgeous Homestead she pushed through and she did it. She made one of the knitted headband patterns that I put out not too long ago. And I am tickled to death with her progress. It looked beautiful. And I am so glad you kept going because it looks amazing. You all will see that in a picture coming up. Um, again, Keep pushing yourself to do it. If you really want to do it, keep pushing yourself to do it. It's a muscle memory and getting the flow of things. So if you want to knit, please try it. We have all kinds of people out here that are a fantastic at teaching and you would, you know, may benefit from one more than another, you know, another one. Um, please be sure to check out multiple people who teach knitting or crocheting or tatting um, or even like weaving when I weave. I may not be the best suited for you to understand because the way I teach. I teach from a dyslexic ADHD point of view and that sometimes works with people and sometimes it works against people. So just find your person, find your teacher. Uh, don't give up, find your teacher. And when you do, it'll click. Um, give it time, give it time. It took me a long time to pick up knitting and I love it. I would really rather knit than crochet and I've crocheted my entire life. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, everybody, I'm going to put together that slideshow for those pictures that were sent in. If you're curious about any of the content creators or the patterns that I've talked about, please check out the description box below um, and go to their page and check them out yourself. Um, if you have any more follow-up questions on any of the things that I've shared today, please feel free to comment below and ask away. I will do my best to answer whatever your question may be. 
All right, everyone, until next time, be blessed, be a blessing, and bye for now.